Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. For today's video, I wanted to share with you guys an updated list of products I regret buying and investing into. Now that investment might be financial or emotional either or both now even when i get a lot of products in pr i emotionally invest myself into it and when i don't get the desired returns it leaves me a little sad a little frustrated and i don't want you guys to go through that now over the years i've done a whole lot of videos on a whole lot of products that i regret buying so i will leave a link for you guys up in the eye of a playlist and you can comb through that and if there's a product you want to invest into and you find it in that list you might want to you know rethink your decision now i quickly have to say that skincare hair care makeup everything is super subjective something that might work for me might not work for you and vice versa so keep that in mind i'm from the sahara desert dry skin type i'm as dry as they come so if you are from a skin type that's really really you know totally opposite to that then you might want to check out people who are from a similar skin type and see their reviews on the products and then make up your mind please invest your money smartly you do not deserve to go through a product that you don't like that you regret buying it's something that no one should go through but yes i'm not going to make this intro any longer Let's just get started with all of the products. I'm going to give you all of my reasoning and everything. Let's go. I'm going to start off with hair care. I do have a couple of hair care products that I want to talk about in this video. The first one being this Juicy Chemistry Shampoo. This is in the Baobab Rosemary and Tea Tree variant. Now this is an SLS, SLES, paraben free sort of a shampoo. It's like pretty organic and natural and chemical free. Air quotes if you know what I mean. But yes, this just actually made my hair very very oily looking which is something I do not like. I know when you are shifting from a normal sulfate shampoo to a non-sulfate shampoo there is a transition period. Period. and I really tried you guys I really really tried but this made my hair look so oily and I could not deal with it like I really could not deal with it my hair takes a long time to wash and then to dry and for it to end up looking oily it's just Mm -mm, not it's just not it for me and even after trying for a while my hair just could not get used to it and I am okay with using sulfates on my hair it's not something that I mind I truly do not I feel like you really need to clean your scalp out sometimes and sulfates really help in cleaning them out so yeah I'm using this like a normal wash now rather than like a hair wash just to finish it up because I don't want it to go to waste. Other than that, I'm really not into it. It it just wasn't meant for me. The next shampoo I have is by Crazy Color. This is in the red variant. Now, basically, last year, after the lockdown ended, I was a little bored at home and I wanted to color my hair. So I colored it red, but red doesn't really, like, it's a very difficult color to keep and it requires a lot of management and upkeep. So I bought this shampoo to make sure that it lasts longer, but it didn't really do anything to make my red hair color last longer it lasted just the normal amount that it usually lasts which is basically like one or two washes on my hair because my hair is pre-lightened red generally lasts longer on virgin hair than it does on pre-lightened hair which is a bummer honestly i love red hair on me but the upkeep is just too much it's too 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 much and this shampoo really didn't help so it didn't serve the basic purpose it's meant for and that's why i regret buying this and the last hair care product for this video is going to be shots of color motion hair mask now a couple of videos ago i talked about the shampoo because i emptied it out and I was talking about how it weighed my hair down my hair never felt clean never looked clean and this does exactly the same thing it leaves an oily residue on your hair and it's just not the best feeling ever like your hands feel that oily residue your hair always looks dirty and like weighed down it doesn't feel clean or fresh so this is a big no-no for me I do not like that feeling at all again my hair takes a long time to shampoo and to dry and then to still have dirty looking hair mm -hmm, no one deserves that Moving on to skincare, I have this Derm Doc Skin Brightening Toner. I have a whole video on it and why you shouldn't be getting this one. So I will leave it up in the eye for you guys. But in a nutshell, this basically has yellow color pigments in there, which stains your face. So it looks like it's brightened your skin temporarily, but it stains your skin. So it's not the best thing ever. Then a couple of other things about Derm Doc, which are pretty shady in itself, is something that just makes me want to run away from the brand itself. I don't think you should be investing into it. I know the price point seems very, very nice, but sometimes investing just a little bit more money, I'm not saying invest like thousands into your skincare, but just even a couple of hundred rupees, extra rupees, would ensure that you get something much better for your skin and with skincare it lasts for a really long time so you're really getting a bang for your buck if you want to go through i have a whole playlist of like products under rupees 500 which are amazing you can check those videos out make a more informed decision just don't go for shady brands that are not worth it and might ruin your skin in the longer term 
Then I have Four Essential Sugar Rose Petal Lip Balm with me right here. I talked about this in my 50 lip balm video. Again, I will leave a link for you guys up in the eye so you can go ahead and check it out. Basically, it didn't moisturize my lips at all and that was the only feature that's supposed to do so yeah that one thing and that's why i regret buying this i don't always talk about cheaper brands or more affordable brands and them not working also talk about higher end brands like these and them not working and this is again a very very big heartbreak because you end up investing so much money into a product and emotionally also and it doesn't work out for you i'm basically going to use this as like a fragrance product because it has a beautiful rose fragrance but other than that if you're looking for a beautiful lip balm this is not the one. Another lip balm that didn't work out for me is by Sahadev. Again, I talked about it in the same video and I talked about how this did the same thing. It didn't moisturize my lips enough, which is the basic task of a freaking lip balm and you can't do that. So yeah, this is also from like the higher end category of brands and it just, it didn't work for me. It was very sad. I really wanted it to work, but it didn't. Moving on to makeup, I have this mascara by K-Beauty right here and I talked about this in my one brand tutorial using K-Beauty so I will leave a link for you guys up in the eye. Basically, this is a very very below average mascara, doesn't add any volume or length to your lashes, is very meh, very skippable. You get so many other beautiful mascaras out there in the market which are in a similar if not lesser price tag than this one is at. So I would not recommend you getting this at all. And then there's another mascara that didn't work for me and that's by e.l.f. This is their water proof length and volume mascara again it did not do anything for my lashes it's at best a black pigment that would just cover your lashes and that's that it doesn't add any length doesn't add any volume i've not really tried to clay test the waterproof claim but that doesn't really matter if there's no length or volume what will i do with that waterproof claim you know so yeah run away from this mascara not worth it and the last makeup product i have with me is swiss beauty's liquid lipstick this is so drying so drying i can't even begin to tell you guys even with the most heavy duty lip balm underneath my lips were just sucked out of all of the moisture and life i know this is a very affordable price tag and that seems very very intriguing and interesting but guys your lips would curse you for using this because it's so drying i think this is only second to sugar's liquid lipstick the initial liquid lipsticks that they had which were death for your lips this is like life imprisonment i wouldn't recommend this to you at all there are so many other lipsticks in the market currently we have such beautiful formulations even from the most affordable brands so this one is a no-no from my side and the last product I have for you guys is this perfume by Engage. I talked about this in my trying 10 perfumes for summer video. I will leave a link for you guys up in the eye. But basically this smells bad, doesn't stay for long and just overall a disappointment. A lot of you have been telling me to try the W3 variant so I might do that and hopefully that works out better for me. But this one smells so bad, has a very mm, going bad sort of a fragrance. I, I would not recommend to you. Overall just I don't want to talk about this. It makes me sad. It's just a bad product. Just don't get it just don't get it okay just take my word for it and don't get it but yes with that we finished this video i hope you guys enjoyed this and found this video helpful found something that you might be interested in investing in and this video is like let me check out more reviews before i do that hopefully my goal is achieved if you are checking out other reviews that's all i expect you to do i don't expect you to take my word for everything do your research, check out different opinions, different categories, different YouTubers and bloggers out there because we are all here to help you guys out. But yes, that's going to be it from my side for today. I hope you guys again enjoyed this and found this helpful. I'll see you guys next time. Till then, take care. I love you all so much. Bye. Mm -hmm.